Hey, what's going on, guys? It's been uh, quite a while since I brought a video to you, and uh, since I've tested it, the water for the live rock bin and anything updated in the fish room. Uh, right now, not a whole lot has changed in the fish room. It's just been a long waiting process with curing the Pukani rock. Um, also, I've been extremely busy um, in advancing my career path. Um, I quit my old company because things just were not working out there, and it was time to uh, kind of fly the coop. So I started with a new company, so I've been going through all of that, and then uh, I was in Los Angeles for almost a week, and uh, just got back, and just have been lazy. Um, the, the tank is uh, doing good. Um, I kind of fell behind on my dosing. The containers have been empty now for about four days, so I just mixed all that up. But I just tested the water in the Pukani bin, and uh, I'm excited to share the results with you guys. Everything's looking good, and it looks like we're going to be able to move forward here uh, roughly pretty quickly. So um, here's the clips of the water testing. So here we are looking at the ammonia, and the ammonia is clearly at zero now. Um, that is affirmative there, so we got zero, I'm sorry, zero ammonia, and the nitrite is completely clear, which is tests as zero, and I tested this twice because I thought maybe I did it wrong, but it came out clear both times, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to clean both of these vials up, and I'm going to test for nitrate um, to see where the nitrates are in here. Um, I'm running all those pumps still, and uh, somebody suggested running some air or something like an air stone in here. Uh, what I did is I just got one of the pumps that I'm running in here, and I just shoved a piece of airline tubing into the intake and kind of tied it off to regulate the air a little bit. And uh, been running that for a solid almost two weeks now, and uh, that I think that helped. So uh, I forgot who you were, but uh, thanks for the suggestion. Um, I was hoping you know just the surface agitation helped enough, but. Um, I think this may have boosted the process, so zero ammonia, zero nitrite, we're getting ready to test ammonia right now. So let me do that real quick and I'll bring you the results. Alright, here we are with the results of the nitrate test. Uh, we are... I'm going to have to call that probably 20. It's not quite 50. Somewhere in between fifth, somewhere in between twenty and ten, is uh, what I think I would call that. Maybe twenty. It's not fifty. Yeah, definitely not fifty. Yeah, I'm gonna say somewhere in between twenty and ten. So uh, I'm starting to feel comfortable with this rock. I might actually uh, do a water change on the big tank tonight and uh, put that into the new 120 and uh, mix up some fresh salt water and uh, add the rock. Or I might give it another week. Who knows? But uh, we're getting somewhere. <laughs> this is a long process, but uh, I think it's going to be for the better. I really... Uh, don't want to have these algae issues. Actually, I haven't really had algae issues. There's some bubble algae on the overflow, but that's like literally the only place it is. Um, it's the Aptasia. I really don't want to introduce Aptasia if I can help it. And uh, I think this is a good step adding the dry rock. So uh, somebody also commented on my video where I sterilized some rock with uh, vinegar and bleach. Well, vinegar first, then I bleach the rock. Um, I don't remember who you were. Hopefully you watched this video. You, know, you said you had gotten some new Pukani and you were wondering if the vinegar bath would help the curing process. Um, I'm no 100% you know, expert on this, but I don't think the vinegar is going to help you. Um, I did the vinegar because I was trying to kill all the life that was on the rock before I added it to the uh, big tank inside. Um, that's why I did the vinegar. I wanted to kill all life and then I bleached it and then I started over. and. Uh, Inadvertently, I added some Aptasia to the tank, and I know exactly which coral it was, and I figured I'll take care of that eventually, and I never took care of it, and now I have this Aptasia issue, so that'll never happen again, but to answer your question, hopefully you do watch the video, I don't think doing the vinegar bath is going to help your curing. I would suggest doing like a water change if you have a tank already, or new salt water and going through this 
now seven week process. Um, and you can add the bacteria boosters, uh, like the Biospira. I'm saving this to add to the tank when I actually put the rock in the tank. I did use Seachem Seed. Um, it sucked. It did absolutely nothing. So you could you could try a biological booster um, to speed up the process of the rock curing, um, or you can just let it ride, kind of like what I did here. And uh, the whole process right now took about seven weeks, but I'm comfortable enough with oh excuse me the test results that I have to uh, probably start adding the rock in. And there's the uh, refugium online, dirty as shit. The light hasn't been off in two maybe three weeks. And that's the algae growth I got on the glass in that time. I've never cleaned this yet. And uh, you know, everything's still running. This tank is still empty. But I think we're going to start putting rock in it tonight. Or, I'm sorry, water in it tonight. And uh, all the corals that have been in this uh, Rubbermaid trough have been doing just fine as well. But uh, I need to come up with a lighting solution here pretty soon. And we can start... Uh, treating some of the corals that have Aptasia on them, dipping them, and uh, I'm going to first add them to the frag tank. And yeah, there's a lot to do still. But anyways, uh, there's the water test stuff, guys, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Sorry it was so long, but uh, I've been retardedly busy. <laughs> so anyways, guys, we'll uh, see you in the next one later on.